today we're going to talk about beets and the nutritional value, why everyone should have beets in their diet, and I got some recipes for you to try getting beets in your diet now. I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist from thebiblicalnutritionist.com. And if you haven't been to that website, you really should check it out because I have a free gift for you. It's Seven Steps to Biblical Health. It's a book that I wrote. It also includes three lies that are preventing you from having that biblical health. And it's just the seven steps that I use with all of my coaching clients to get them started. Now, if you are a very disciplined person, you'll apply those seven steps and you'll never need to read another health book again. They're that good. They're that life transforming. And so you might want to check that out. So let's talk about beets today. We're going to talk about raw beets, cooked beets, how to cook them, some quick recipes, beet juice, beet powder. We <laughs> got a lot to cover. All right, so let's look at beets. The greens in the beet are just as healthy as the, the root of the beet, which is what we consider the beet. Yet they have different nutritional value. Beta carotene, carotenoids, more so in the leaves. Beta lane, more so in the root. Iron, more so in the root. Fiber, both. All right, so we're good that way. B vitamins, both. We're going to get that in both areas. So let's talk about the greens. You can just eat them fresh. You just shred them up, put them on a salad. You can saute them. So here's a video of me sauteing them, making a, a, a hot salad with these greens. For sauteing, I've already heated up the olive oil and started to put the greens in the pan. My saute pan, you're always looking to use a medium heat. Now, if you had some green onions, that would have been perfect to saute with the greens and even some mushrooms. I don't have any with me right today, but that would make these this so much more flavorful. I am going to go ahead and use some of my dehydrated onions. I'm just going to sprinkle them in now and they're going to saute with the greens. I always make dehydrated onions every year. Right now my onions are growing for this year's supply. And as soon as they're ready, I will dig them up, dry them out just kind of on the porch, and then put them in my dehydrator after I chop them up real finely. Definitely smells when you do that. You will have an onion smelling house. This is just such a delicious salad. It's a nice warm salad, perfect for all seasons of the year. Now while it's still finishing up, we're at the last stages of sauteing this, I'm going to go ahead and add in some feta cheese because I kind of want the feta cheese to be a little bit melted into the greens. And we're going to put add some of our chopped beets as well. Make sure that is turned pretty much off. And we'll just season it with a little bit of salt, freshly ground salt, and some pepper if you choose. And we are ready to serve our salad. Oh, that is so delicious. You could add some chopped walnuts or pecans or even sesame seeds. So here's that salad and it's just really good. Like I said, I would love to add some mushrooms, some fresh onions in here, top it off with maybe a few of my favorite spices, and it is good to go. So that's one dish for you to enjoy. So that's what I would do with the greens, either fresh on a salad or cooked into a hot salad like that, or topping on a sandwich, mm, that would be good too. A mushroom sandwich, mushroom portobello sandwich topped with some beet greens, oh, that is talking nutrition now. Let's look at the beets. So we can eat these raw. And what I would do is I would peel it and then shred them. Now these are really finely shredded here. I'll give you an idea, I really finely shredded these. Typically I'll put them in my food processor and they're bigger. And I will put them in a container in my refrigerator and just grab a handful with my salad each night. And then I've added my, green, my, my beets to my salad and it's just a delicious topping. You can also take these, shred them up, also shred some apple and some carrots to make its own salad. And it would just be beautiful on the table, especially in spring and summer, but maybe as a winter, maybe as a Christmas salad. Add some raisins or some currants to that. Top it off with a little olive oil to blend it together, maybe a little honey. Oh, so, so good. That would be a delicious way of eating them raw. You could even juice beets. So if you were to juice them, I would peel them first and then go ahead and run them through your favorite juicer. 
Now, why do we want to eat beets? It's important because beets are a natural detoxifier. Your liver is a very important organ in your body because it is to, it's like your greatest maid. <laughs> Proverbs 31 talks about she gets her maids working every morning. Well, your liver is working for you whether you tell it to or not. And so we always wanna make sure we are feeding our liver the foods that are going to help it do its job. And so there's an ingredient in here called betalain. Betalain is an, um, a vitamin, not really a vitamin, it's a nutritional, value that what it does is it goes in and helps your body do phase two detox. Phase two detox is it helps your body to recognize a toxin, grab hold of it, neutralize it, and then remove it. All right. That is what betalain is going to do for you. It's going to help initiate the glutathione process. Okay. That all of us have toxins. All of us come in contact with things. We breathe it in, we put it on our skin, we eat it, and not realize we have toxins. So our liver was magnificently created to be a detoxifier. And anytime we can add a food to help it do its job, it's like increasing your insurance value. That's how good it is. Now this recipe I wanna show you, we're gonna start with cooked beets. So you would take your freshly bought beets or maybe you're growing them yourself and good for you if you are you would cut them off one inch you want one inch of the stem let me make sure i can you can see that so i would cut it right here so i have one inch of the stem and i would either wrap them up in foil and put them in the oven and it usually takes about an hour right around 350 or if you have an instant pot you can do that as well and you also if you have some waterless cookware because i don't want them boiling in water i don't want to lose the nutrition i don't want them to leach out so if you have waterless cookware where you just add just a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan then you can steam them on the stove well that's what i did today is i cooked them in my waterless cookware which i've actually had that since i got married and that's been a long time and it still works beautifully so if you haven't checked out waterless cookware i will try to find a link for you down below and connect you to the products that i use so let, we've now cooked them in the oven i want to show you how to clean them so you do not peel them before cooking them to remove the skin all we do is just push it right off it's sometimes easier when you're doing this under the running water. And yes, your hands are going to get pink. And just even the stem, it just pulls right off. Once they're cleaned and peeled, all of that, we have them all diced up. So I'm just going to put them in this bowl. This is just another fun way to serve beets. And I'm just making a small serving. I'm going to add some goat cheese. Yeah, a beet goat cheese salad. I could also add to this some chives. They did not have chives in the grocery store and I don't grow chives, so I was really at a disadvantage for this recipe. I could use some green onion tops. I could just even, even use some green onions, period, and chop them up nice and fresh in here. And then I could add me some walnuts. And I'm just going to pull it all together with just a little bit of olive oil, just a little. I'll top it off with just a single twist of some salt and then serve this salad. And we have a delicious goat beet, goat cheese beet salad. So anytime you serve beets, you've got a beautiful dish on the table. So this is going to taste amazing as well. So there's two recipes already, plus the raw shredded beets. Now, juicing, yes, you can definitely juice them. Just be sure and peel them first. You won't get the fiber, so I would save the fiber content that is extracted and throw that in a smoothie. But speaking of smoothies, definitely add the greens. Definitely add the stalks. Definitely add the root to your smoothies, but I would do it raw. I wouldn't do a cooked smoothie in my smoothie a cooked beet in my smoothies, but I would do a raw smoothie because I want all of the nutritional value. I don't want anything to have leached out in the cooking process. And last but not least is a beetroot powder. I told you when I, my doctor, when she was helping me balance out my hormones, she suggested I have beets every day. Well, it's much easier if you have a beetroot powder to supplement the days that you don't feel like cooking beets. So this is a good alternative to cooking beets every day. And plus, I just know that I'm getting them in, whether I'm eating beets or not. Now, a few caution things about beets. If you eat beets, typically within 12 hours, 
when you go to the bathroom, it may be pink or red. Just realize that's okay. But what you need to understand though is sometimes that's an indicator that you are low in iron. So you might wanna have your iron level checked or you might wanna be taking an iron supplement to help make up for that difference. Beets have iron, so having them in your diet, you're going to be getting some iron in your diet. So if you're kind of tired all the time and you're thinking, I wonder if I'm low in iron, have your blood work tested. You can do that with, on different sites of your own, different sites meaning different websites. You can order it yourself or you can go to your doctor and get that done. So definitely juice them. You can dehydrate beets. You can t use it as a powder, but main thing is get beets in your diet you need them they're delicious they have a natural sweetness to them and they're low in calories and they always have what i always talk about fiber and that you already know from listening to my teaching how important it is and oh so hormones and happiness so they're going to help your body to be happier because of the detoxifying effect the way they work on your gut brain axis and how they help your hormones it's like Okay, it's a superfood. I admit it's a superfood. And thanks for watching. I'm Annette Reader, The Biblical Nutritionist. Don't forget to go get that seven steps to biblical health because those are really good steps that I use all the time. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell next to it so you can get notified every time we post more videos. And there's so much I wanna teach you, but I want you to always understand is God loves you. He loves you no matter what. You don't have to um, clean up your act to come and meet God. You don't have to change anything. Just come as you are, meet Jesus, learn what he's done for you, understand that God loves you. I love you too, and I'm so glad you're watching this video. Thanks for watching.